Hello and welcome to Building with John. Today we're going to learn how to manage projects using Notion. So I have a template that I'm going to show as the ultimate template, but using this template, we're going to go through all the tasks or functions that you would need to manage your projects, such as saving a task, doing a project, we'll prioritize it, we'll throw it on the calendar so you can organize your day, week, and month, we'll throw things in the backlog so you things that have to get done someday. We'll put all your documents in the document manager. The beauty of this app is its simplicity. That's the real power of this app that I'm going to show you or this template. So and then we'll sh go through a demo how to complete tasks and then I'll go through a full demo for business and personal example on how to use the new productivity app. So this is an app that you can use to manage your personal life and your business life um, because it is incredibly powerful don't let its simplicity deceive you. So we're going to go into the dashboard because that is really where all your activity is going to be. That's it. You're done. One page. You could bookmark this page. I bookmarked mine because I used the same template. I would bookmark this and I would call it today. So anytime I bring up, say, for example, like I'm going to bring up Alfred and I type today, that's going to take me to my dashboard, which looks exactly like this. So I don't have to go to multiple pages. Everything I need to manage my life is in one page. So let's go over the layout of the template. On the left hand side, you have projects or tasks or projects that are in progress, meaning that it's going to be done either today or it's past due pretty much not. It's not going to show things that need to get done in the future. For example, if you look on the right hand side, we have our three tasks that need to get done today on the calendar and they reflect same here, but there's two other tasks here. And because since they're not due today, they're not going to show on the in progress, allowing you to focus on what you need to get done today and today only. So if I drag this task and bring this over to today, it's going to add it to your in progress. But let's say I'm like, no, I want to do that tomorrow. It's going to move it out so you can see what you need to focus on today of the 10,000 things that you need need to get done. Here it is done. The next is saving documents. So all the documents that are related to writing, articles, everything, links, files, everything. I don't use Google Drive. Everything is in my documents. It's saved in here. I use reference files. Anything that's important is saved in my documents. So that way I know no matter what, if I need it and it's important, it's somewhere in my documents. And if it needs to get done, it's in tasks. That's it. There's only two lists. So you have your tasks that needs to get done. So tasks and projects and then your documents, which is just knowledge management. So this is just all your knowledge pretty much. <laughs> um, and then you use your dashboard where it's pretty much you're just going to be hanging out on your dashboard. Um, so on the right hand side is your calendar where you can see tasks. This view allows you to see tasks that are going to get done in this calendar view. So you could do this 30 days, next 30 days. So you can allow you to plan tasks in the future, which is super helpful. Think of these as like super powerful, like post it notes that you could plan into the future, way powerful. And then there's a second tab for completed so that you can see, oh, which task, I know there's a task I, I got done last Monday and I need to reference it because I had some link in there. Oh yeah, there it is, Monday, found that file. I could get that task, great. So you have completed and pretty much things to get done documents in progress tasks. But what about tasks that are not, doesn't, there's no due date. It just has to get done someday. If you scroll down, that's going to be your backlog. This is where you save tasks that don't have a due date um, so that they're eventually going to get done. But maybe not this month or next month, but someday so that it's saved. So that's your backlog. And then down here, we have our completed tasks. So every time you complete a task, it will show up here so that you could go back and be like, oh, six months from now, five months, last month. What did I do last month? There's that task I need, I got done and I need to use it or do it again. It's going to be here. So that's everything for just the layout. Let's go now through in the first, first step, which is going to be, if we reflect here, our little to-do thing. The first thing that we're going to do is how to save a task. So I'm going to save a new task such as build a website. So I could click new and I could say give it a title. I could give it a priority. Yeah, this is high priority and a due date. This needs to get done today. Let's say for example. Great. The, now Notion you could just click right there and then you can just go through your regular 
notion however you want to like add a task super simple but I have a load template here that if you click on that it will change the priority to high it will add this template where you could do now it turns into a project for example so this is not just a task but the building a website is going to be a project so that allows you to make little micro tasks what I call so mini tasks mini task in a project but it's all saved in one file so that you don't have to go through many different places so say for example I have to build the website I have to and then you give it a title or goal and then you give it your step one and what is step done what I call it was the last step that has to get done so I'm gonna uh, let's see uh, connect the domain and then I need to build the then I need to test no, I need to do also automation and then test great but that's just one if I click new task I get it brings out another template oh yeah and then this bullet point is for facts so things I'm like oh yeah I want the domain to be home as the main and then let's say I have a Calendly link that's some special URL it's like oh, okay so I have a Calendly link we want to save that so when I need it it's right here so everything you need is going to be right here then you could do another task you're like oh yeah I got to buy the domain I got to come up with a name and then I got to buy domain and then connect it to website say for example but you know you could take this and you could move it down you're like that needs to, needs to get done after I could start with this because we're gonna do this on Monday and do this on Tuesday and then when I buy the domain I'm also thinking of <laughs> Porsche.com or whatever GT3 dot com I want to get those two domains cool so just brain dumping and then it's saved in here I'm gonna just drag that because that needs to get done first right up there so that is the task template and when you add a task then you could put be like done done and then when you could click out it allows you to switch tasks super effectively because then you could immediately stop what you're doing jump to another task oh I need to start a podcast I need to get that finished or I need to create content so I'm like oh let me do step one. Oh, I've done this done this so that you can see multiple tasks here so that task is on the calendar and I can drag it and just change the date that way I can move it this way so this is now you're gonna plan your well, actually prioritize let's go to how to prioritize tasks so each one of the tasks automatically has a priority high medium low and then automatically which is nice automatically it will sort so if I change this to low it will change that and say create content I'll change that to medium it automatically sorts here and then it automatically sorts here perfect so that's how to prioritize the next one is how to plan your day week and month and so pretty much plan your day week and month I do it every Sunday you're gonna look over your week and anytime you see I have a maximum of like three to five tasks per day after that I know it's going to be an overwhelming day but you could plan out your tasks and be like yeah this one needs to get done on this day this one's gonna move on the 25th and you know what I need to get new tires I need to pull that let's do that the 26th great and then that looks like a busy day let's do this so I have an easier Friday perfect so plan my week done so that I plan my week and then you do your day which is pretty much high medium low you're just gonna start from the top and go down you can't touch the second one until the first one is done speaking of which let's say I finished my landing page it's done I'm gonna click complete and now it's hidden the build the landing page funnel it's out from here I could still see it on my completed tab right here so it's completed and then I could also find it down here build a landing page was completed and it's all sorted by last edit time that's handy so how to use the backlog super simple there are some days that some tasks that need to get done some tasks that it's a someday so say for example get new tires maybe it's a someday not this month I don't know when I have to look at the budget so we'll go to clear 
And since it doesn't have a due date, it's going to be right here in your backlog so that it never, it's basically so you never drop the ball on anything. So that when you look and you plan out your week, you're like, oh, do I need to do any of these? Yeah, let's get, this needs to get done on Tuesday and this needs to get done on Friday. And then this is a high priority. Perfect. Cool. So that's how to use the backlog. The next is how to save documents. So we have a lot of little documents right here. So say for example, you have a website. Highly recommend to get the Notion Web Clipper Chrome extension because it puts a little Chrome extension. And say for example, I wanna take a trip to San Diego for example, and I found this article super helpful. I wanna save it in my brain so I never forget it. You Once it's installed, you could click on the little Notion icon, brings up their little Web Clipper, save it to your documents, give it a title, click save and instantly it's saved in your documents and your documents is sorted by whatever ones that you edit. Say I go to this Porsche 911 article and I'm like, ooh, there's some new things. I'm gonna check out the different models. And then since I edited it, it now moved that, that document to the very top and that bookmark that I say, the 15 best things to do in San Diego, moved below it. But then if I go here and edit something, then it moves to the top. So basically what you're seeing is you're always going to see the documents that you use or have used recently right here. That's why everything, it, it makes it so nice. And you're like, oh yeah, what was that article? Oh yeah, yeah, here it is, that Porsche. And then I was like, oh yeah, how to start a business is here. And then, so that's going to sort by activity basically. The last is pretty much how to do just a demo. I'll do a demo of a task and a demo of a project. And that's going to be it. So let's get started with creating a new task. Let's say I have to create a new content calendar, for example. I'm going to click on the new button. I have to create a content calendar. I'm going to use my template. Perfect. This is a high priority. Perfect. We'll set our priority. Next, I'm going to go through to take the 10 seconds to write down the things I need to do to get this task done before I do work. So I need to research topics, plan out the month calendar, and then delegate to team, and then review work, say for example. And that's just one. I need to add a new task such as create the count, create content. So I'm going to do this as plan. So this is more of a project. So we've got this one. And then for this, we're thinking about our niche is going to be, I'm thinking about topics notion notion is popular hence this video <laughs> and then create content and so i need to uh re there's like how or as i like i think of like things i need to do I'd be like create content or like schedule time on calendar record upload Let's say that's all the things I need to get done. Great, so now I filled it out and it's now saved in my calendar. Let's say there's an article I need to get from the web to save it, so I'm gonna go, I just found this random article. Let's say I'm like, yeah, this is an interesting article I wanna save. I'm gonna click on the Notion Web Clipper, give it a context, and then I'm going to save it to my documents, click Save. And then that's done. So now I created a task. I have my articles or anything. I'm like, oh yeah, that reference to that article. Yeah, here's the URL. Takes me right back to that website. Perfect. And then I could go back to my task. And let's say I get a couple things done. Oh, but I need to upload. I need to stop what I'm doing, go grab some groceries, come back, or life gets in the way and I'll come back a day or two later. And I'm like, oh yeah. I'll upload so and then once this task is done I'm just gonna click complete it's off my calendar it's saved right here under create a calendar and if I need to reference it I'll go to completed I can see create a content calendar was completed then perfect now let's say it's Sunday and I need to plan my week great I'm gonna look at the things I need to get done for tomorrow we're gonna drag and drop some things we're gonna prioritize and you know this needs to get done next week. Perfect. 
let's see let's next we're gonna check the backlog to see if there's anything I need to do yeah plan a vacation let's take this out of the backlog we'll do that on Friday and I need to add something say um, say for example I need to just fix the back door not right now not this week not next week but someday just brain dump it so that's saved there perfect and then I have all my documents then it's a new day I'm gonna wake up in the morning and and be like oh it's a brand new day remember we haven't even left any other screens we've been doing everything in one screen which is awesome so if it's a brand new day it's gonna automatically show I'm like oh brand new day what do I need to do oh I need to build the website and then I'll plan the vacation and need to get new tires actually this is a medium priority get new tires and then I'll plan a vacation perfect that's how I stay organized that's how we manage projects and that's how we use notion as a project manager. You can get a copy of this same productivity app using the link in the bio. That way you could be more productive at work and in your personal life so that you can move mountains of work effortlessly. Never forget a thing and this is more powerful than a second brain and simpler to use. And I just want to say thank you to the new subscribers. We're on our way to the thousand subscribers. So join the track. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And that way we can learn and grow together. I'm Jonathan Acuna. Hope you learned something new. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.